Hey guys, it's John here from Spa Guys again. Today I'm going to be talking to you about how to treat and maintain the chemicals in your swim spa. Today we have a PDC swim spa that's actually a split unit. One part is for exercising over there and the other is just a casual hot tub. Alrighty. <coughs> Kill it. <laughs> Alrighty guys, it's John from Spa Guys here. Today I'm going to be talking to you about treating your water in a swim spa. Um, Alright, so today we have a PDC swim spa. It's actually a split unit. Over here you have your hot tub and over there you have your classic swim spa for exercising. So before I get into any chemicals, we like to let you know that it's recommended that you shower or at least rinse off before you get in here. If not, you're going to be bringing in whatever germs, whatever you have on your skin, you're going to be bringing it all in here and it's going to stay there. It's going to make your water nasty. So please do shower um, or at least rinse off. Alrighty, so the first chemical we're going to be talking about today is actually the most important chemical. It's the one that will constantly sit in your tub and it's working all the time, not just when you're in there. All right, So these are called brominating tablets. This is the equivalent to chlorine, it's just a little more gentle on your skin and it's less, less harsh of a chemical smell. Alright, so for this spa, we're going to be using four tablets to treat it. So all you're going to do is you're going to get your brominator here, open up the top, you're going to just dump the four in there, and then you're going to put your lid on. The one thing you do have to keep an eye on is that you keep it open. So down here at the bottom, no matter what kind of brominator you get, there's always some sort of opening down here that you can slide it to close it. You're just going to want to open it all up, close the top, and just throw it in. Alright, the next chemical I'll be talking about today is called Spa Shock, Oxidizing Shock. Um, there are a couple names for it. It's all essentially the same. So our bromine tablets are what maintain a clean water, a clean tub. Um, and now this is what you're going to use every time you get out. So that bromine is constantly working. However, when you get in, no matter how clean you are, even if you shower before like you're supposed to, you're still going to bring some stuff in there that's going to throw off that chlorine bromine level. So this is what you use every time you get out of your spa for the day. Alrighty, so all you do is you just pour some of it into the cap. We use about a quarter of a cap full for a, a full this size, um, a little bit less for a normal hot tub, a little bit more for a full size. Um, however, all you're going to do is just pour that right in there and then you're just going to sprinkle it in and then it'll disperse through the jets and it'll get all throughout the system. One. So the next three chemicals I have here are actually meant for people with well water. If you have city water, you shouldn't really need to pay much attention to this. However, if you do like to adjust your alkalinity, pH, and calcium, you'll want to stay tuned. So before I talk about those three chemicals, I actually want to go over checking your water, all right? So these are a very generic water testing kit. Um, you can find them on Amazon. You can really find them just about anywhere. All they are is just a container of strips with a few squares on them. So all you do is grab one out, you dip it in your water, wave it around, you pull it out. You have to let it dry for about 10 to 15 seconds. And then you're gonna go ahead and compare these strips on the back here to the colors on the back of the case. Okay, so I went ahead and tested the water. Um, now you obviously watched us put in our bromine and we put in our shock. So you can see that top chemical right there. Wait, cut it. Total. So I was unaware that we were not able to stop recording mid film and cut it. Um, so I apologize for my mistake there, but back to it. <laughs> the top chemical is our total hardness. Um, and you can see we're in the okay range there. The next level is our bromine. <laughs> like I said earlier, we already put that in and our shock. So we're also in the okay range. This is actually freshly poured water. So we're good on alkalinity and pH as well. Our alkalinity is a little bit higher, but that'll naturally drop. Um, this water was just put in yesterday. So with some time, these levels will balance out. So this tub doesn't actually need any chemicals put in it at this moment. Um, let's say we tested our strip and these chemicals did come up low. Hardness, alkalinity, pH, um, whichever chemical you need to adjust, the way you're going to treat it is you're going to dump a little bit of this chemical in, 
let it rotate, let it shuffle through for about five minutes. You're gonna retest and you'll slowly bring it up or you'll slowly bring it down. The same applies for all three of these. Um, so it, it's a little bit of an experiment. It really has to do with the amount of water you have in these tubs. So it will vary unless you have this exact model. Um, the back of them, they all have this conversion kit. So if you know the exact amount of gallons inside your tub, you should be able to just look on the back of your container of whatever product you need and be able to do the conversions. However, you can really just put a little bit in at a time and watch your chemicals go up with your test strips. Alrighty guys, that's it today from the spa guys. Um, we hope you found our video helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to find us in the comment section. Um, and if you enjoy our content, please feel free to like and subscribe. Thanks guys.